What's going on YouTube? Back with another video. Just want to quickly talk a little bit about some mountain bike accessories that I think every new mountain biker should have. So I'm going to quickly go over these items with you, tell you a little bit about them, tell you the cost. All of them I bought on Amazon and I think they're definitely necessities that everyone needs. So let's get started. Um, first thing I think everyone's going to need, of course, if you mountain bike, you're going to already notice off tops is that the mountain bike seats are all nine times out of ten not that comfortable. So I highly recommend that everyone get a pair of biking shorts, but get some biking shorts that have pads. Um, they're a necessity. You gotta have pads on your biking shorts. Um, so I have found this pair on Amazon that I think are great. Um, I think the actual company is called Sponeed. And um, I got a couple of colorways I'm gonna show you guys. I got the, uh, the lime green ones. This is the actual logo. And I'm gonna put all the descriptions and links in um, all the links to the Amazon um, pages on my description. Um, but here's the lime green pair that I have. And I also have the um, more simple black and gray. And the black and gray uh, look like this. So yeah, very, very comfortable. These are a lifesaver. Um, I remember the first time I went riding without any pads in my in the shorts that I wore, and yeah, after about 30 minutes, I could hardly even sit down. With these, I can ride at least two hours, and I'm comfortable. Um, actually, probably even more than that. I just actually get tired after two hours, so. Um, but these are great. If you look at the inside of them, you'll see the padding that goes all the way from one end. You can see pretty much how it stays padded all the way to the other. So these are a necessity, man. And right now, I think um, on Amazon, they're going for $32. I think I paid like 35, 36, 37 for them when I ordered them. So they're a little bit um, cheaper in price at this point in time. So highly recommend these shorts. Um, I think everyone will agree um, for the price, you can't beat them, and they have really good reviews on Amazon. So a lot of other customers feel as though these are really great biking shorts. Highly recommend these. Next item up I have is, um, you're gonna need some, some cycling gloves or mountain bike gloves. Um, I usually suggest getting some with some type of gel. So for example, these actually have some type of memory foam or gel inside of them. These are called the Evolution uh, rock ride cycling gloves. They're like uh, anywhere from 12 to 15 dollars on Amazon. I'm going to put the link to the, to the description and the actual item on Amazon as well. But um, for the price, man, definitely get a pair of these. Um, I might actually buy a couple of more colorways as well. But but these are really good um, lifesavers for your wrist and hands because uh, when you're out there riding on those rocks and bumps. In those trails uh, your hands definitely do get tired and your wrist so definitely need some of these um, another major investment that you need to do is and I'm going to talk a little bit this about this more in detail later on but you need a mini bike pump and this is the one that I actually have it's by pro bike tool um, this one is running right now anywhere from 25 to 30 bucks I know it's a little bit on the high end but it's portable, it's a good name brand, it's got excellent reviews on Amazon, and it's just very lightweight, very, very lightweight, and the way it pretty much works is, you see that both ends kind of pop open, um, you can extend it, this is the actual pump, you can hear that, the air going through, you unscrew this part of it, take it out, and here is your different ends for um, the actual type of tire that you're trying to put air in. So you have your Presta on this side and it's actually labeled Presta. And then you have your um, Schrader on the other side and it's actually labeled as well. So you'll see both of the labels and you can see where basically you screw that end into the other end of the pump. Screw this to the actual insert of the uh, of the tire and then easily just pump air in it. I've been using this pump for about three years now and it's done 
wonders. It's it's great. It holds up well. The materials are well. Lightweight, portable. One of the best mini bike pumps that I've seen. So, highly recommend that you guys invest in this particular one. Yeah, there are cheaper ones out there, um, but um, th this one is really good for the money, uh, for the price, and the lightweight and the portability of it. Definitely buy this right here. Um, now there's thousands of these out there, water bottle cages. You're gonna need waters when you're on the trail or when you're cycling, especially in the summer or in hotter temperatures. Um, one of the more basic ones that I've bought, I have a lot of water bottle cages. Some are more you know, flashier, some have better colors, but this one right here is probably one of the more basic ones. I've seen these go for anywhere as cheap as 10 bucks to $15 um, on Amazon and eBay. Um, it's called a company called Life On. Very simple, rust free. Uh, it won't rust at all. Um, but it holds every bottle that I've put in here better than any other cage that I have. Um, so, yeah, I highly recommend it because number one, it's cheap, it won't rust, and it holds a lot of different water bottles. Um, can't say that for all my other ones. Some of my more expensive ones, some of more, my more flashier and color ones that I have. The bottle either gets stuck in there or it's too small, too tight. Um, some of them chip, the paint chips off. Um, but this one right here has been holding up well. So highly recommend these. Life On is the actual company. It looks like this. And uh, you'll see these on Amazon and eBay pretty, pretty often. Um, another thing I want to talk about, uh, I don't usually put my phone on a phone mount when I'm mountain bike riding um, I do do it on my road bike but I know a lot of people who do use the kind of um, phone holders to grip on the handlebars um, and sometimes I do uh, it just depends on what type of trail I'm on if it's a really flat trail with not a lot of rocks and not a lot of bumps I will use it but if it's something I know that I'm going to be um, you know, going up and down and bouncing around a lot I, I don't use this particular I don't use this at all. I put my phone in my actual pouch um, that I have. So with this particular model, um, it is made by a company called Call.Car Accessories. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. I know the lighting is a little bad in here. But um, the way you spell that is C-A-W dot C-A-R Accessories. And if you Google that, I mean, not Google that, if you put that title in Amazon, call.car accessories, you'll see all the items they sell. But this one is just a high, durable phone mount. It, it's no joke. It clamps good. It does not move. The phone stays in place. I've been using this for three years. have not had one problem with a phone dropping. Um, anywhere from road um, cycling to light mountain biking. Now, hardcore mountain biking, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna suggest using any of these, but if you're doing light mountain biking then or trail riding, this should be okay. Now, this is the plastic one that they make, um, but they also do a metal one, and the metal one is very high duty, but the metal one, I think, is like 30 bucks. I think that's really expensive for a phone holder. Um, this one right here is, ranges from, uh, I think the cheapest I've seen it is 16 to $20 for the plastic one. The plastic one does fine. You put the phone in here, and then you have your grips, just like any other one that actually grip the phone. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend this one if you are going to use a phone mount. Um, this one is awesome. It has the plastic on it, so it protects the actual um, handlebar. It won't scratch or anything like that. So, so yeah, definitely highly recommend that one as well. Um, so that's about it. I just want to do a quick video, get something out there for you guys, let you know some accessories you want to try to check out. Highly recommend those. Again, I'll put all the links um, down in the description below. Um, wanted to make this a quick short vid just to kind of give you guys a heads up on some of the accessories I'm going to be showing. And each week I'm going to do a new video, quick maybe 10 minute video, and do just five accessories um, and talk about each one of those and what I think you may need if you're new to the sport. So other than that, guys, I appreciate all the support. Um, click the like button and please subscribe to the channel. Um, I have a lot more content coming up. I'm gonna try to hit a new trail this weekend and I'm gonna have that video posted soon. And 
And other than that, that's about it. I appreciate you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.